What's up, HVAC Control Pro? This is Eric Stromquist with Stromquist Company and ControlTrends.com. We've got very, very exciting news. Siemens has come out with a new economizer control that uh, I am really, really pumped up about. Man, it's simple. It's kind of old school. It's uh, going to be very, very price competitive, and it replaces a major manufacturer's brand that's no longer made that's on virtually every carrier or Linux unit you have. So in this video, I'm going to break down what makes this economizer so special. So uh, definitely watch to the end of the video because we got a special offer at the end of the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, subscribe. Please give us a like. And remember, be bold, stay in control, and uh, we'll check you on the flip side. Okay, Control Pro, if you saw our series on indoor air quality, you know getting the right amount of ventilation into your space is key to keeping people feeling good in your space and people healthy. One of the best ways to do this is to use something called an economizer. And we're going to break down some different economizers, but today we're going to talk about the Siemens uh, economizer. They just came out with a new one, and i got to tell you, it is a very cool product. I think you're going to like this, so let's walk through it. Okay, so let's talk about what it, an economizer is. Well, it essentially allows you to have free cooling uh, based on outside air, like on a mild day where the temperature or the humidity or the CO2 is better than that in the indoor space. And again, we can determine this based on temperature, humidity, or CO2 inputs for demand ventilation, like Tim had talked about in the IAQ course. So, uh, and again, you can do either single, single temperature or you can do a comparison, indoor air versus outdoor air, same thing with enthalpy or humidity, and same thing with CO2 inputs. So an economizer system is comprised of a controller, a damper actuator, a thermostat, and a sensor. Just about every control manufacturer makes an economizer controller, but I'm really, really excited about the Siemens POL 220 economizer control. It's almost like they went old school on us here. Uh, you don't have to have any tools to set it up other than a screwdriver. Everything's done with a potentiometer or a dip switch. And as you can see by this, man, it is old school. It is easy. Uh, and it's also very, very flexible. So let's walk through some of these uh, some of these features here. So you have the inputs for temperature, humidity, and CO2 sensors. And again, they have all the different control strategies you could want to use with this, including differential temperature, differential humidity or enthalpy, uh, or differential CO2 for demand control ventilation. It's kind of cool. They got the LED lights on the left-hand side where you see number B. And these are basically green, yellow, and red. And it'll let you know if your exhaust fan's working. It'll let you know if you have sensor failure. It'll also let you know if you have demand CO2 problems. So it's a very, very, very cool setup there. Uh, the potentiometers are marked very easily. They're very easy to adjust. And uh, so that's a cool piece, too. And a wide temperature range for the BTU selection for your enthalpy control if you want to use that. So it has inputs in it for either single or two-stage cooling systems. Uh, everything, all the commissioning is done with a screwdriver, and which is really super simple. And everything's clearly marked. All your different damper positions, uh, your different settings are all either dip switch or potentiometer set up. So very, very easy to set up. So use the dip switches to set your temperature and your uh, enthalpy uh, set point ranges. So this is a standalone economizer, meaning it does not have a direct like back debt or something interface into a building automation system. So the really cool thing about this smart plug and play, the smart plug and play is a really cool feature. So it knows what's hooked up to it. So the first minute you, you, you power it up, it knows what's hooked up to it, and then it adjusts the strategies accordingly. So you don't really have to figure out what mode it's in. It predetermines what mode you're in just based on the sensors that are hooked up to it. Very cool feature. Man, there is just a huge market opportunity for this. First of all, 70% of economizers don't work. So if you're out doing a service call, it's a great opportunity to, to save your customers some money and help them with their overall building performance. So here's where the big opportunity comes in, the Honeywell 7212. I mean, there are more of those out there than any place else, primarily because this is what Linux and Carrier use for years and years and years. They don't make those anymore. So you have some choices, okay? Uh, Belimo has a great economizer, Belimo Zip, which, you know, I'll do a video on that at another point in time, as well as Honeywell. Honeywell, the Honeywell Jade is absolutely phenomenal as well. But the POL220 is a direct economizer replacement for the W7212. Okay, and uh, again, as you, as you saw earlier, it's easy to set up. And then the other really cool thing about this is that Siemens has positioned themselves to be the low-cost provider 
with the POL220. So uh, the Honeywell Jade and the Belimo Zip are great. Uh, and part of the reasons for that cost difference is you'll notice that both the Honeywell and the Jade have a display on it. So that basically means that they're Title 24 compliant. And for our, our HVAC control pros in California, uh, you're very familiar with H HVAC. You're very familiar with Title 24 and that compliance. But it basically says that you have to have the ability to visibly see uh, what's going on, which is why they have those displays on it. Now, the interesting thing is with Siemens, they, they took a lower cost position um, and and they are, what they will tell you is they think they're Title 24 repair compliant. And what that basically means is if you have a new installation, you definitely got to go with the Honeywell Jade or the Blimo Zip or something with that display. If it is a repair of an existing unit, you should be within compliance according to Siemens, not Eric, Siemens, uh, if you're actually repairing, you're actually doing a repair on an old unit and just replacing an existing economizer. Okay, here's a breakdown of some of the parts that uh, you'll see out there and uh, with the part numbers on now. Stromquist and Company is putting in a special order on these. If you'd like to get in on uh, a special buy with some special pricing, hit me up at HVACcontrolpro at gmail.com. That's HVACcontrolpro at gmail.com, and we'll see about getting you in on that special pricing. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time.